Hello beautiful people and welcome to my channel More Sassy Cassie. This is my second channel. I also have a booktube channel called Sassy Cassie where I make videos about books. So if you're interested in watching that, you should go subscribe. It's down below. But today I am going to be talking about some of my favorite podcasts. So let's get right on into this. I have 10 that I want to talk about. So my interest in podcasts kind of swings in different ways as time passes. Right now I'm really into like self-care and self-help almost podcasts. Um, I've been really into that lately, but sometimes I like delve deep into crime podcasts. Sometimes I delve deep into like informational stuff, like things you would never know. And like I have a whole host of podcasts and I just kind of get into the zone of one style. Um, so right now what I'm really into is self-care and stuff like that. But one thing I do try to listen to every morning is Up First by NPR and it is a um, little like usually 15 minutes, no more than 15 minutes of news. I had to stop and say goodbye to Matt. <laughs> and now I have a kid. He's so cute. The other cat, Padfoot, is not like this. But he's just like, okay. Okay, I'll let you do it. I try to listen to Up First every morning. It It's now out Monday through Saturday, so Sunday's their only day off. I try to listen to it almost every morning. It's like 15 minutes of a snippet of news. They'll usually go over a couple different parts of the news and they are international news so they've been covering like the impeachment process and stuff with Trump but they've also been talking about like the um, huge protests that are going on in China right now which is really scary and a big deal but other than that entertainment and self hair care and things like that let's do this so the entertainment side of things I want to go through first these ones are almost all crime right now. Um, so I really, really, really love Wine and Crime. It is one of my favorite podcasts right now. Uh, it's these three women from Minnesota. Yes, Minnesota, who grew up together. They were best friends all through their lives, and I think they're in their mid-20s now. They drink wine and talk true crime and release their worst Minnesota in accents. That's their little like tagline every time. And you can tell that I listen to it a lot because I just verbatim <laughs> spewed it at you. Um, they are really funny. They are kind of like crude. So if you're not into dick jokes, it might not be the podcast for you. But then they also go into crime. So usually one of them will go through the psychology behind the theme of the crime for that podcast. And then the other two will bring one crime case to the podcast and I really like it. It's long form for sure. They interrupt each other. They talk. It's not at all like super, you know, presented and like whatever. It's very much a conversation happening between friends and I really, really love it. On the other side of that spectrum, there's also Crime Junkie, which is a podcast with two women who run it and they, on the other hand, bring a case and they, it's very like performed almost. Like it's very clear that this is not just like a casual conversation. It's, it's like almost scripted, well produced and like there's music and stuff like that. I like that one as well. I also listened to The Clearing, which is an eight episode podcast. I don't know if they're gonna do another one but the eight episodes are all one case going through and it's this woman it's this man who's interviewing this woman whose father was a, is is was I can't I think he might be dead now was a serial killer and they go through the whole case and how she figured it out and all of it and it's really really good I highly recommend that podcast also not crime related really like listening this is kind of like the transition really like listening to Estee Lalonde's podcast she is also a youtuber and I do watch her on YouTube she's like a lifestyle she used to be a makeup person now she does more like vlogging and stuff the cats are playing with trash can you hear it I'm not fixing it <laughs> she does a podcast I enjoy it as well and it's just kind of various topics and stuff she usually has a topic for each podcast but it's not like like always one thing you know what I mean like not like crime it's not a crime podcast it's just a lifestyle podcast so moving into these like self-care self-reflection self-helpy style podcasts that I've been absolutely loving lately I really firstly my favorite one the first one I started listening to and also she's a youtuber who I am obsessed with as well is from Sarah from Sarah's day she has the health code podcast with her boyfriend Kurt and it's 
great. They always have a theme. Sometimes they will bring someone else in and like kind of interview them and it's just it's I love their podcast. I love them. I think they're hilarious. So that's a plus for sure. Um some podcast topics that they've had is like entrepreneurship or getting into the gym, like body comeback. She had a baby seven months ago, so she was talking about like the feelings of how to love your body after it's gone through so much change and stuff like that. Just all sorts of topics. I've also been loving the Highest Self podcast by Sahara Rose. Sahara Rose is an Ayurvedic um, focused person. Ayurvedic is a type of medicine and I actually have a coworker who's studying Ayurveda medicine so that's been really interesting to like kind of bring her to the table what I'm learning from this podcast and listen to her tell me stuff and just learn a lot about Ayurveda. Basically there's three different like styles of Ayurveda. There's Vata, Pitta and Kapha and um, I did some research on me and I think that I am Kata Pitta, yes. So. Yeah, anyway, not important really, but um, Sahara Rose also talks about Ayurveda and she talks about like the mind-body connection and how important it is to take care of both basically, which is something that I've just been really, all of that is basically what I'm listening to. Moving on, the next podcast I have is called Mind Body Musing and again, it's just more of that but mind-body connection <clears throat> and recognizing how sometimes the physical can meet the mental and how the mental can affect the physical and all of that loving it. I also do have Rise by Rachel Hills on this list and I haven't listened to as much of this one as some of the others but I do enjoy this one as well. She just doesn't post as often. These are all kind of similar topics. It's all self-care, self-help, how to build your confidence and how to seek like the motivation that you need to do what you need to do daily in order to make the success that you want and stuff like that. One that I have been really loving is Brand Interrupted by Brittany Hammond and my friend from Brittany's Book Find is actually going to be on this podcast soon. I'm pretty sure she just posted that she just recorded with her. So this one is more like business oriented and like how to get what you, where you want to be to succeed and stuff like that and I'm finding that really interesting. With the focus that I have in interpreting, um, I'm supposed to finish in June next year, I'll be done. Um, it is very much a business it's a, it's a it's an entrepreneurship almost because you are you have to build your business and a lot of times you're working with agencies yes but you are an independent contractor always almost always in this field so that's really like where my mind is at I'm trying to learn more about like how to be the best person I can be for this job. Lastly, there's Coffee Talk by Kaylin, and Kaylin kind of just does a bunch of different topics. One of her most recent one was about, um, well, she just did one about her eating disorder and how she had an eating disorder and how she has recovered or is in recovery. Don't remember which one she likes to say. The ways that she was able to overcome her eating disorder, and so there was that one, and then there was another one recently that I really loved from her that was all about like <clears throat> self-confidence and stuff like that and I just I've just been loving this stuff I've been loving this stuff and I don't know why I don't know what I don't know what click all of a sudden happened where I'm like all into this because I didn't used to be into this and like now it's just all that I want to listen to and I don't know really but I'm really loving them and yeah I highly recommend all of these they're all on Apple Podcasts. I'm pretty sure you can find them on other platforms as well and yeah so you should just uh, search them up and I highly recommend all of them what podcast do you listen to one of the other ones that I really like but I haven't been listening to lately is ologies that one they'll do a podcast on a particular species or um, like family of species like spiders or crows or stuff like that and that was um, that's a really interesting podcast. I also do really like back talk and unladylike and stuff mom never told you and those are all more feminist based. I just haven't been listening to them recently but I have in the past really been loving those so yeah, those are some podcasts that I have really been loving. Let me know in the comments what podcasts you really love. And also, if you have any recommendations for videos for this channel, 
what do you want to see on here? Um, what are you interested in? If you used to watch my old channel, is there anything from that channel that you think would really benefit on this channel that maybe didn't do so well over there or something like that that you think could benefit from being re-uploaded? So let me know if there's anything in particular or any topics that you want me to cover. Thank you for being a part of this channel. I'm so grateful to all of you. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a like if you enjoyed. I still don't know my posting schedule yet, but I'm hoping to be posting once a week on this channel and I'm hoping that in a few weeks when my semester ends, I will be able to be more diligent about posting. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!